This is a post from Libs of TikTok. It's a clip from The View. Whoopi Goldberg says she would still vote for Biden even if he poops his pants and can't put a sentence together because she also has poopy days. Well, okay. who doesn't? <laughs> right. So um, as the meme goes, first they say it's not happening. Then they say, well, so what if it is happening? Then they say, you know what? Even if it was happening, it'd be a good thing. Then they say, of course, it's happening. Yeah. As evidenced by the border invasion. There is no invasion at the border. Then they're like, so what? Who cares if there's an invasion? Then they said, even if these people were coming, it's good because they're cultural. It's cultural enrichment. Now they're like, our border's being invaded a year later. Now, I also want to stress in the previous segment, we were discussing symptoms of Parkinson's that Biden may be exhibiting. And of course, the Biden pooping his pants story was this weird. He was like bending over and back and forth. We don't know exactly what Biden was doing on D-Day when he was crouching down and, and moving back and forth like that. We all immediately thought, and as it's true, a lot of people thought he was he was having a boom boom. He was making an accident. Right. You know, there on stage. Now, Whoopi Goldberg is saying she doesn't care even if he did. We're at that point in the news cycle. But I will stress, it may actually have been his postural collapse from Parkinson's, mm -hmm. which may make more sense. And, you know, it's funny because when we say he may have pooped his pants, the left loses it. How dare you imply that? I mean, it's possible. And I will stress this every time before we play this clip. There is more evidence Joe Biden pooped his pants than there is the Hunter Biden laptop as part of a Russian disinformation scheme. That's true. Let's play the clip from Whoopi Goldberg. Here we go. On the day that y'all talked about it, I don't care if he's pooped his pants. I don't care if he can't put a sentence together. Show me he can't do the job. And then I'll say, OK, maybe it's time to go. Now, he had a bad night the first time that he went out and deba debated with um, Kamala Harris. And everybody wanted him to quit then, say, you can't talk to women like this. Are you doing this wrong? You're doing that wrong. He came back, said, you know what? I got it and gave four years. So, yeah. I have poopy days all the time. Wow. All, all the, the time. time. I step in so much poo you can't even imagine. Wow. What? <laughs> now, I'm not running the world, lady. but I don't know anybody who doesn't step in stuff at some point. So I'm just simply saying yeah, there are two debates. And if he can't do what he needs to do for the second debate, I'll join any crew that says get rid of him. But loyalty to me. If you are doing the job, I might not like everything you're doing. I, I just want to pause real quick. Uh, show of hands. How many people do you know that have poopy days all the time and step in it? No hands? Nobody. Uh, I, I know one. One guy? Yeah. Joe Biden? No. He <laughs> but somebody about his age. <laughs> yeah. And the, the other question is, just, she, said, she said she has poopy days all the time. Well, that's a real wow. soldier right there. That, that's, <laughs> I mean, you know. This She's is on like, the view. Who knows what's going on? Pooping your pants is fine. I do it all the time. I'm voting Biden. I mean, you got you can't ask for more loyalty than to, that. To be fair, the reason why she may be taking it so personally is that when he was accused of pooping his pants, she poops her pants all the time. She's like, hey, that's not fair. Like, you're discriminating against people with fecal incontinence. I'm just uh, waiting for the ableist crowd to be like, you are being discriminatory oh, towards him. Yes. It's coming. The, the sphincterly <laughs> challenge. <laughs> It, I believe we will get to that point where they're going to say you're attacking Joe for a disability. Mm -hmm. It's not affecting his ability to do his job. It was an accident. But we are I, I I can't believe we got to the point where the it's it's the so what if he pooped his pants? We all do it phase. Well, they might turn it around and go, well, it shows that he's healthy. You know, he had a good <laughs> bowel movement. You know, that's a good day for him. Mm -hmm. I think that may be the next step because, of course, they're supposed to do, you know, if it is happening, it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. And so the, the question then is, well, you're, you're, you're saying that he's unhealthy, but he's having clean bowel movements like he's, he's clearly in functioning order. That's right. I mean, I think that it's also ridiculous because no matter what happened on D-Day, like whether I know some people think like there was a chair behind him, he was going to sit down, he got confused, whatever happened, like he left the stage early. And that is a big implication on his ability to do this job, right? You're at something honoring fallen soldiers in this historic moment, and you you have to leave the stage early, right? This is something that we see from Biden all the time. Even the George Stephanopoulos interview that came out over the weekend. I mean, it's only thirty two minutes long. That's 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 not that's not that much time. Yo, uh, part of the job is looking like looking strong, mm -hmm. looking like you can do the job, looking like you you know you are able to perform these these sort of functions that are basically you know formal. 
formalities. Right. And if you can't do that, then... If you're wandering off stage, if you're falling down at every graduation, I mean, yeah. it's really not giving the confidence that I think American people need. Because that's, that's you know... That's what's stunning about the Democrats saying we only need your corporeal form, which is saying we don't care about this office. We care about who controls every other bureaucratic administration, which is, you know, them being honest. I think mm -hmm. that's true. But the American voters need someone to rally around, someone who calms their fears at times of crisis. And it's just not Joe Biden. I uh, I just did a quick Google search. Fairly obvious. But uh, Parkinson's can cause incontinence, both urinary and fecal. Yeah. And so... You know, I'm just saying, when when this all went down on D-Day, the media's immediate reaction was the right is lying and they're making it up. And I'm like, yo, we all yeah. saw this weird bending over weird thing he was doing. He's been accused of it before. But because of the nature of it, there's this reaction from even people on the right to dismiss it like, oh, you're just insulting the man. You're accusing him. There are people who are claiming he was trying to put papers on the ground. And I'm like, look, man, you pick. Was he struggling to sit down? Did he forget he was supposed to stand? Did he accidentally, uh, was he unable to bend over to put papers on the ground? You pick which one it is. They're all bad. Mm -hmm. One is perhaps more... Um, Humiliating? Yes, <laughs> lacking dignity, but you know. I mean, this is all, this is all like, I mean, to me, it's, it's funny to meme on this stuff, but it, at the end of the day, I still can't get, you know, get past the fact that this is a national security threat, mm -hmm. right? Like you've got two wars going on in the world that are that are significant conflicts you've got israel and you've got um ukraine and you've got in israel there's a significant chance that it expands with iran or with hezbollah getting involved which is essentially iran as well these are real threats like granted it's not likely that the any of these will come back to the u.s homeland it's possible there could be terrorist threats you know, because of all of the the wonderful job that that the Biden administration has done at the southern border. Um, but at the same time, you can't tell you can never tell what is going to happen in with war. Once a conflict actually goes kinetic and you've got people shooting at, at each other and stuff, there is a real possibility for for expanding the war into any number of ways. And with the moves that NATO has been making with uh, allow, you know, bringing in Finland and talking about Ukraine and stuff, it is just not <laughs> at all acceptable to have a man that is completely and totally incompetent running right. the United States military. And that's not even talking about Taiwan. If, if, and people that are talking about, there are Democrats that are still like, oh, it's important that we, we solidify the, and we, we get behind Joe. Whether or not Joe Biden wins or Kamala Harris wins, if it were a situation where the Democrat wins, you know that China and Iran and Russia are going to look and say, now is the time for us to do things that the United States wouldn't like. Right. I, I can't say what their what their plans would be. But the idea that that the United States uh, exists in a vacuum and that the, what happens in the United States and what happens with our 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 government and the commander in chief, it, the idea that that doesn't affect the other countries of, of the world, well, that's ridiculous. Them. It affects them hugely. I mean, I think part of the reality is if you're uh, Evan Gershowitz's parents or if you're uh, Paul Whelan's family or if you're Mark Fogel, these are all Americans who are currently detained yeah. in Russia. Do you think Joe Biden is going to get them back? No. And I realize you could say, oh, well, they have the special envoys who are in charge. No, no, no. Ultimately, leadership in any other country responds to the head of the leadership of your country. And I just think that Joe Biden is not doing anyone any favors. In fact, I think if you're someone who's in, in desperate need of the federal government to intervene on your behalf, again, like Gershwin, uh, Paul Whelan and Mark Fogel, if you if you need them to negotiate the release of your family member, this is not the government that you want in charge. Yeah. It's it's clearly not the government that you want in charge. And again, no, but, but what about all the people who watch The View? <laughs> no, I mean, for all there's millions of people who watch it. And I, I, I assume their audience, their demographic is predominantly like suburban women, mm -hmm. yeah. urban. I, I, I don't think awfuls. it's awful. Like, yeah, I don't I don't know that it's your average millennial woman in New York watching The View. I think it's probably late 40s. But I mean, they're 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 now sitting there 
nodding their head along to a woman who is a publicly admitted she suffers from fecal incontinence as an effort to help Joe Biden get more votes. I mean, but also this person is not that inspirational to a lot of voters, right? There will be women in the suburbs who are watching this being like, some of them will laugh at her and be like, oh, crazy whoopee. But a lot of them will be like, you're kind of gross and weird. And I don't know that I like your opinions on anything. I mean, she is taking a, a, an interesting stand for sure. I'll give her that. But I don't think it's uh, the encouraging win for Joe Biden that, that I, I, she thinks it I'm is. Just, just imagining now if you ever encounter like some – older millennial or, you know, Gen X woman who's like, mm-hmm. well, look, you know, I agree with Whoopi. Like, we all have poopy days. You can just be like, yeah, you, you you have poopy days too, right? You know, just like Joe Biden, you do too. That's what Whoopi said, huh? Well, she's also kind of half-hearted in this. She's saying, look, I, I have this issue too, but if he doesn't do well in the next debate, then, then I'm going to leave him behind. The next debate is September. I mean, she's saying that she's going to bail out of this ship if he doesn't get better in the next couple months. Has Joe Biden seemed to been improving to anyone else in this room? I mean, he's been out there more. They've had him on, you know, doing interviews or whatever else. And it just doesn't seem like this is really there. No one is turning the ship around. If you well, the, look, comeback, the comeback interview with Stephanopoulos was a disaster. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, he looked terrible. He did. Do you think he got a spray tan? Of course he yeah, did. Absolutely. Didn't it look like he got a, like a very intense spray tan to Who's try Who's the orange man now? I know. He should have gotten the hair too. He should have. I have a meme where he, he looks go great. All like, the way, well, people man. will do that because it's like, oh, it makes you look healthy or whatever. It's like, oh, no, Joe Biden's team. He, I, did, the, he did the orange man thing, right? He's, he's the orange man now, and he called into Morning Joe. He's literally taking well, on all of Biden's stuff, uh, all of a... Uh, of, uh, of Trump's things. Trump's things. He yeah. is mirroring his his health after him. But he also did those interviews where the radio host was like, oh, yes, I only asked questions prepared by his campaign. And he still was like, I am the first black woman to serve with yeah. a black president. Like, it was so crazy. He yeah, still and when couldn't he's doing even, those, when they teed it up for him as softball. Good. When he's doing those phone things, he's got papers in front of him. I read some article where they you know, people were calling in saying they, they could hear the papers as he was talking. He's reading. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, when you see him try to talk without a teleprompter or when he's being asked questions that he doesn't see coming or even when he sees them coming, he, he can't put together a sentence. Let's and jump he, to this. No, but I'm going to move on. So if you want to know last. Well, the only thing I'm saying is if you look at Joe Biden, a uh, video of him now and six months ago and six months previous to that, if you look at the you can see a significant decline every six months. It's, it's Someone it's should do a extreme. Yeah. Like, you know, they do those photos every day thing. Just like every public appearance of Joe Biden put in, in, a, in a sequence and watch him. Like, it's been like six. Yeah, yep. he's, he's to me. Let me be quick. Yeah, it's like once a year you get the guy out of the, out of the crypt. Thanks for checking out this clip from TimCast IRL. Make sure to watch the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Subscribe to this channel and we will see you all there.